Welcome to the Literacy Circus, second grade, week 21 through 22. This week we're doing fractions. And here I'll show you a picture of a one half fraction, which looks like this um, when you make a figure out of it. Um, it's one half because there are two parts in all and one part is shaded in. In fact, a fraction is an equal part of a whole. The top number, the numerator, tells what part and the bottom number, the denominator, tells how many parts in all. So, the top number is the number that is shaded in and the bottom number is the number that we have in all. So this fraction is one fourth. This fraction is one third. And this fraction is three fourths. So if we look at these fractions over here, we will have, uh, we, we want to name them in words and not in numbers like this side. So on this side, what we do is if we have three, we name it thirds. We know that the bottom number will be a third. So we're going to name it third. If we have four, then we will name it fourths. Okay, so we have one shaded in here out of three parts, one, two, three parts, and one shaded in, which makes it in name one third. So on this one, we have one, two, three parts. So we know that the second part of the name will be thirds. We have two parts shaded in, so it is two thirds. On this piece, we have two, two um, in all, and we have two shaded in. So it will be two halves, because this is a half and this is a half. So if it were just one shaded in, it would be one half. But since we have two shaded in, it's two halves. Here we have one, two, three, four. So we have a fourth in the second part of the name. And then we have these two shaded in. So we'd name it two fourths. Here we have one, two, three, four. So we know the second part of the name will either be fourths or quarters okay because if you had a dollar and you had the a dollar would be the same as having four quarters four quarters so in this name we're going to name this shading or this fraction two quarters because two of the quarters are shaded in then our last one, we have one, two, three, four in all, and we'll name them quarters or fourths. And in this instance, we're going to name them quarters. And we only have one shaded in, so it will be named one quarter. Then let's do these. And we count them in all, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three shaded in will give us three eighths in number. Let's count this one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And three shaded in would give us three eighths again. Good job. Then here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have one, two, Three, four, five, six shaded in will give us six eighths. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In all and two shaded in, that give us two eighths. You got it. Then we got one, two, three, and only one shaded in will give us one third. Because the bottom number is the number that we have in all. And the top number 
is the amount that we have shaded in you see that i hope you guys enjoyed that video i hope you subscribe and i hope you have a very great week